On April 22nd, 1993, the young black British teenager Stephen Lawrence was murdered at a bus stop in South London because he was black. Five suspects were initially arrested, but later released, not charged. A public inquiry in 1998, led by Sir William McPherson, concluded that the investigation had been mishandled due to institutional racism within the Metropolitan Police. And the McPherson report led to a repealing of the double jeopardy rule, allowing a subsequent retrial. Jack Straw, the then Home Secretary, described this as the most important decision of his tenure. Two of the original suspects were later retried and sentenced. The findings of the subsequent Stephen Lawrence inquiry led to changes in the British Race Relations Act. However, given the events of the last year, the disproportionate impact of COVID and the ongoing trial around George Floyd's death, it feels important this year to mark the anniversary of Stephen Lawrence's death. To honour Stephen Lawrence Day in the health sector, we've taken the positive action to address the lack of diversity in medical literature and representation in dermatology especially by promoting the book called Mind the Gap. This is a clinical handbook of signs and symptoms in black and brown skin. It highlights the lack of diversity in medical literature and in our education in identifying common signs and symptoms of severe illness in black and brown skin. In Surrey Heartlands, we want to actively promote the educational benefit of using this book, which will result in earlier and more accurate diagnosis and ultimately in increased patient satisfaction and outcomes and greater confidence amongst healthcare professionals when treating black, Asian and minority ethnic individuals in our communities. This is the beginning of a change in medical education and we invite you all to join us on this journey. Hi, good afternoon. My name is Dr Russell Hills. Um, I'm a GP in Epsom and I'm also the clinical lead for equalities and health inequalities across Surrey Heartlands ICS. Um, I'm just quickly plugging a brilliant new resource which first came to my attention through the BAME um, Health Inequalities Population Health Group, which is a resource called Mind the Gap. Um, and it's been made available through St George's um, University Medical School. Uh, it's online if you Google blackandbrownskin.co.uk and you can then click on Mind the Gap. And basically it's a resource for doctors and other clinicians who will be dealing with skin complaints as well as other clinical aspects of working with um, patients with black and brown skin who present in, in different ways than, than a lot of the um, presentations we may have been exposed to at medical school because it has become clear that, uh, that essentially a lot of a lot of training is based around white skin and we do need to be able to understand what um, signs can look like in darker skin types um, for instance the contents include the basics around things like pallor and erythema what hands can look like um, so uh, and other conditions like measles chicken pots etc so i really recommend you have it on your desktop um, available should you be consulting a patient uh, with um, black or brown skin so that you can get an idea of, of what other signs might look like. And it's also worth um, having a good read through anyway to, to, to broaden your understanding of how different skin complaints can look. Mind the Gap is an excellent resource for clinicians and clinical staff in the NHS. In fact, it's being used right now in our accident and emergency department, knowing the signs, symptoms, and particularly what darker black, Asian, and skin of minorities look like for particular conditions is really essential to providing a modern, safe NHS and giving the best patient experience. So I fully endorse the use of Mind the Gap. Pattern recognition is key in dermatology. Mind the Gap Clinical Handbook is a valuable resource helping clinicians in assessment and diagnosing skin disorders in non-Caucasian patients. Hello, please do look at the Mind the Gap textbook. It's a great resource for how conditions manifest in brown and black skin. As a GP, I find it really helpful to look at dermatological conditions on the website. And you can get involved too by sharing photos with patients consent so that we can improve care for our black and brown patients. Thank you. 
Our aspiration is that as Surrey Heartlands, we become a progressive leader in all things that promote equity and equality. Promoting the Mind the Gap Handbook, which provides clinicians with a tool to give the right treatment at the right time for the Surrey Heartlands population with black and brown skin sets us on the right track to offer a truly equitable and inclusive medical care system, helping to improve patient care and reduce health inequalities. As the wealth of contributions to the handbook continues to grow, we would like to encourage Surrey Heartland's clinicians to contribute to the portfolio of images in the true spirit of leadership and partnership. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm.